In the endless darkness of the galaxy, where frozen rocks drift and silent dust clouds float, there exists a world that refuses to fade into obscurity. K218b, a distant exoplanet orbiting a cool red dwarf star, glows quietly more than 120 light years from Earth. It does not shine like a star, yet it burns with possibility. Scientists have watched it for years, sensing that something about it was different, something worth waiting for. This planet lies in the constellation Leo, circling its star at just the right distance where temperatures could allow liquid water. That alone made it special, but early telescope data hinted at more. Astronomers noticed subtle changes in starlight as the planet passed in front of its star. Those tiny flickers carried hidden messages from the planet's atmosphere, messages that sparked curiosity across the scientific world. The first major clue came with the detection of water vapor, a discovery announced in 2019. Water is not life, but life as we know it does not exist without water. This finding immediately placed K218b among the most promising targets in the search for life beyond Earth. Scientists began to ask deeper questions about what else might exist beneath those distant clouds. Later observations revealed carbon dioxide and methane, gases that on Earth are strongly tied to biological and geological processes. What mattered most was not their presence alone, but the combination in which they appeared. In a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, such chemical mixtures are difficult to maintain without some ongoing source replenishing them. Everything changed when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful infrared instruments toward this world. Unlike previous telescopes, Webb could read the planet's atmosphere with extraordinary precision. It did not see oceans directly, but it saw something just as powerful, chemical fingerprints that refused to fade with time. Scientists now classify K218b as a Hycean world, a term describing planets with global oceans beneath hydrogen-rich atmospheres. These worlds are larger than Earth but smaller than gas giants, creating stable environments that could protect life. K218b is about 2.6 times Earth's radius and nearly 9 times its mass, giving it strong gravity to hold onto its atmosphere. Despite its size, this is not a burning gas giant or a frozen wasteland. Models suggest a temperate climate, where heat from the red dwarf star gently warms the planet's surface. Beneath thick clouds, an ocean may stretch endlessly, dark yet stable, shielded from harmful radiation by layers of hydrogen gas. In 2023 and 2024, Webb detected a faint signal that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. That signal pointed toward dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, a molecule that on Earth is produced almost exclusively by marine life, especially microscopic phytoplankton. Its presence was not declared proof of life, but it was impossible to ignore. Later data hinted at dimethyl disulfide, DMDS, a related compound also associated with biological activity on Earth. Detecting both together made the findings even more intriguing. However, scientists were careful. They emphasized that these signals were tentative, requiring further confirmation before bold claims could be made. Astrophysicist Dr. Niku Madhusudan of the University of Cambridge, a leading figure in the discovery, stated that this was the strongest evidence yet for biological activity beyond the solar system, while also stressing caution. He explained that unknown chemical processes could still mimic these signals, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Other scientists echoed this careful optimism. Dr. Sarah Seeger of MIT noted that K218b may represent a new class of habitable worlds, very different from Earth but potentially just as alive. She emphasized that life elsewhere may not follow familiar rules, and that expecting Earth-like conditions could limit discovery. If life exists there, it is most likely microbial, floating through warm alien seas under dim red light. These organisms may resemble Earth's ancient plankton, thriving without oxygen and reshaping their planet slowly over billions of years. Such life would not announce itself loudly, 
but through subtle chemical whispers carried on planetary winds. Some researchers speculate about filter-feeding organisms, simple multicellular life drifting through nutrient-rich waters. Others imagine ecosystems powered by chemistry rather than sunlight, using geothermal energy rising from the planet's interior. These ideas remain speculative, yet grounded in what science knows about life's adaptability. Importantly, scientists have corrected early misunderstandings. No confirmed life has been detected, and no direct images of oceans exist. What we have is a compelling pattern, one that aligns with biological activity but does not yet prove it. This distinction matters, and the scientific community continues to stress patience. The question of communication has also surfaced. Physicist Mark Buchanan warns that announcing ourselves too boldly could carry unknown risks. He argues that curiosity must be balanced with survival, especially when dealing with civilizations or ecosystems we cannot understand. Philosopher Dr. Anthony Milligan raises ethical concerns, suggesting that even microbial life deserves protection. He asks whether humanity has the right to interfere with an alien biosphere that evolved independently. These discussions are shaping a new field known as astroethics. On the other side, astronomer Avi Loeb points out that Earth has already been broadcasting radio signals for over a century. If anyone is listening, they already know we exist. Still, any message sent today would take over 120 years to arrive, making communication a matter for future generations. While we wait, global space agencies are preparing for deeper observation. NASA's proposed LUVOIR and HABEX telescopes aim to directly analyze exoplanet atmospheres with unmatched clarity. Europe and China are also developing advanced observatories to join the search. There is even discussion of distant travel using laser-driven light sails, inspired by the Breakthrough Starshot initiative. Though such journeys remain theoretical, they represent humanity's growing ambition to reach beyond observation. Some scientists advocate for exobiological sanctuaries, planets designated for observation only. Astrobiologist Dr. Monica Grady argues that untouched worlds offer invaluable insight into life's natural evolution. Protecting them may be as important as discovering them. Culturally, K218b has already left Earth's laboratories. Writers, artists, and educators are weaving it into stories of hope and humility. Classrooms now imagine oceans under red skies, alive with unseen motion. The planet has become a symbol, not just a subject. Faith leaders and philosophers are also responding. Some see the discovery as evidence of abundant creation, while others wrestle with humanity's shifting place in the universe. Even disagreement has sparked engagement, uniting people under a shared sense of wonder. Psychologists suggest that knowing we may not be alone could reshape human identity. Politically, Discussions about interstellar responsibility are emerging within international institutions. The United Nations has begun exploring frameworks for future contact scenarios. If life exists on K218b, however small, then Earth is no longer unique in bearing life. That realization does not diminish us, it connects us. It reminds us that life may be a cosmic process, not an isolated miracle. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of K218b is its reflection of Earth's past. It may resemble our planet billions of years ago, before complex life, before noise, before dominance. Watching it is like looking back in time through a cosmic mirror. This world teaches patience. It teaches restraint. It teaches that discovery is not conquest, but understanding. Whether or not life is confirmed there, K218b has already changed us. We no longer ask only if we are alone. We ask how we will act if we are not. The answer to that question may define the next chapter of humanity beneath the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.